Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glorification to the Most High God, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Hamashiach, Kumalak, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. And Yahweh Shai is the name of His beloved Son, who the world calls Jesus Christ, whom is the Savior of the nation of Israel. His brother Malachi out of the WFI Detroit camp, coming at you with another lesson in transit. And, um, I won't be able to pull as much precept, so I'm going to be doing a lot of quoting because I'm driving at the moment. So uh, today's lesson and topic is going into Yahweh Shah is our life. And it's playing upon tables. Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, who the world called Jesus Christ, he is our life. Right? Because you got men out here stating that we're wasting our time waiting on Christ. We're wasting our time waiting on Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. And that can be so further from the truth. Yahweh Shah literally is our life. We're waiting for him to come back to save us out of our affliction in hell. And that's not to say you gotta you you just gonna sit in the house all day and you just waiting for the, you just sitting in the house all day. You're not doing nothing, you're not living your life, you're not taking care of your children, you're not providing for your household. You're not doing the work. You're just saying you're just waiting for the Lord. Now, that's an abomination. But nonetheless, we are waiting for Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. Of course, we still got to handle our day-to-day -day things. We got to go to work. We got to take care of our children. We got to take care of our wives. We have to take care of the ministry. We have a lot of responsibilities living in this world. And that's more reason to wait upon Yahweh Shah. That's more reason to wait for the salvation of our Lord. So if a man telling you that you're wasting your time just waiting for your Shah, you need to mark that man. Have no company with him. Because that's a not slocky, that's not a man you should want to be around. That's not a man you should have fellowship with. Because that's the thought patterns of the wicked. Right? They say, oh, y'all wasting y'all time. Y'all need to go get a job, go back to school, get a degree. We're not concerned about that. We're concerned about keeping the commandments of the Most High and patiently waiting for the coming of the day of the Lord and for the second coming of Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. Right? So you got Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 8. You got Psalms chapter 27, and I believe it's the 12th verse and maybe the 14th verse around that area. Scripture say, wait on the Lord, I say. Wait on the Lord and be of a good carriage. So this whole thing is about waiting on Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. He's the savior of the nation of Israel. That's in Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And the scriptures literally tell us to wait on the Lord. Right? You going to get you going to buy land, you going to get acres and stocking up on food and water. That's not going to save you. That's not going to help you out. You trying to build up economics here in America. That's not going to deliver our people. We have to wait on the Lord. And that's been our problem since the Israelites started rising up. And when I say Israelites, I mean blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. Since we started making movements and organizations like Black Panthers, the Civil Rights Movement, that has been our problem. Because we want to take matters into our own hands. No, we have to wait on the Lord. Not to say there's nothing wrong with buying, uh, not to say something wrong with buying land and acres and, you know, stocking up, but that's not going to help you. That's not going to deliver our people. The solution to our problem is keeping the commandments, having faith and doing to the end and waiting on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. That's the solution to our problem. So if you got men out here saying waiting on the Lord is a waste of time, you need to mark that wicked man. Because he's going to be destroyed by the Most High. Right? And a lot of brothers and sisters may already know who I'm talking about. But I'm not going to say their name because I don't want to give them the power. In the, in the, in the, I don't want to shed light upon the, this wicked congregation. But nonetheless, man, keep the commandments, Israel, and live. Wait for the Lord. Have faith. Stop trying to separate yourself from the body. Stop creating false doctrines and these wicked narratives. 
and trying to place it upon the scriptures, man. It's playing upon tables what we need to do in these last days, and that's fear the most high and keep his commandments. Right? So with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Shah. I'm going to say Shalom.